Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Sopo and today I'm filming another sit down video about few of the body care, hair care and skincare products that I've been loving over the course of past month, so let's get started. So the very first product that I have over here is this body scrub that I've had with me in Georgia over the course of past two and a half weeks. I've been visiting my parents and it was very warm and humid so I was showering more frequently than I do here in Germany which was leaving my skin even more scaly and dried out so it was very great that I had this product with me. It's a 200 milliliter tube and you can tell that I have almost um, finished it up. It uses uh, tea tree oil as a main ingredient, which is an absolutely brilliant ingredient and that you would want to see in any body care product. It also uses crushed sandalwood nut shell um, and leaves your skin rejuvenated, clean, deeply cleaned, but also not irritated because it's not using any sulfate based cleansers in it. Instead has glycerin and tea tree oil benefits of which are famous to many already out there. Um, the scent is subtle uh, but it leaves your body as soon as you have washed it off so you don't have to worry about that. It has small granulates which is not very difficult to massage in on your wet body. The brand is literally uh, called Australian Body Care um, and it, the name of the scrub is Body Scrub Deep Clean. So if you're searching for some good scrub over upcoming summer. Check this one out. The next product that I have over here is the Kerastase hair mask that I've been recommended by my hair dresser in Georgia. I always do my hair while being in Georgia. First because it's cheap, second because I can go to a premium salon without paying a fortune in comparison to what I earn here. Um, and third because I know the result's gonna be great. I have gone to several um, hair salons here in Germany and have never been fully satisfied with the result even though I have paid like double the amount what I'm paying in Georgia. To keep it short, I got new Balayage lines, uh, which I really, really love. They look great at the moment, but obviously the difficult thing with Balayage is that it often starts to look brass, brass and uh, washed off super soon, especially if you have like this blondy lines. It's not very blonde in my case, it's caramel colored, but because my hair has a lot of red pigment in it, it has a tendency to get very orangey in the end. This mask doesn't do anything against the orange part, but also because I've been coloring my hair now like a few years, I have a feeling that on the touch it got a little bit more like rough and I wanted to use something that will uh, soften it up, but also nourish and hydrate it. This is not my first ever Kerastase product. I have been using it earlier as well and I just picked it up myself randomly. This is from the same line, to be very honest. This is just for less damaged hair. I don't think that I have so much damage to my hair because I don't do hair styling every single day or every other day even. Uh, I mostly uh, dry the air on its own, don't even use um, hair dryer. So, um, this is something that will be more than enough for my hair. There is one or more, like the number two, uh, in terms of like hair damage, which is in fully teal colored um, packaging. And this one is called Mask Force Architect. I know that I'm pronouncing this wrong. Um, it's a resistance mask and it's for rinse out treatment. So after you have washed your hair off, uh, you can apply, you can take a little scoop, like a small teaspoon size. You don't need to rub it into your roots, just apply on the rest of the hair with your hand. You will feel how soft it gets straight away. Just leave it there for a few minutes while doing the other things, like for example, body scrubbing, and then rinse it off. You're gonna instantly feel the benefits of it, but after a few times of using, you're gonna be obsessed with this product, and that's what I am at the moment. Talking about hair, that's another product that I've been recommended by the hairdresser and this is the Color Extend a Blondage Shampooing Shampoo, the so-called purple shampoo. It's by Red Can. That's my first time using the violet pigment in the shampooing. The hairdresser said that because he has not done very blonde uh, lines in my balayage, but instead used uh, like this like caramel color. Um, 
lines i don't need to use this that often uh, so using this one once a week is more than enough and even then i have to use it as a second time washing off so like first time washing normally with uh, shampoo and then using this one so i've been doing it ever since i got my hair done and i'm gonna keep you updated uh, how this goes because if you're not experienced enough that can go um, both ways wrong so if you use it too much, your hair might start looking gray, purplish, um, and that's not something that you want to have as an end result. So wish me luck. Another product that I think is super bougie and not necessary, I just got it as a gift. I had two tubes, one I completely finished and this one is fresh. It smells divine very very lovely and it's a cartier rinse free hand cleansing gel it looks lovely it's just absolutely unnecessary random thing but but when i went for the service for my watch in cartier they somehow put this uh, together with some cookies and drinks in my little carrier and uh, yeah i just wanted to show you because it's lovely and because i used it uh, while being in georgia i felt bougie while having Cartier and sanitizing gel. Another product is also a very random one. It is uh, the Odell mouse scent. scent? I don't know <laughs> how is this thing called at all. Um, it's for people who are having uh, trouble with the mouse smell. I often use chewing gum but that causes my acid reflux to get worse um, and generally acid reflux is exactly the cause why I have this smell or taste in my mouth which is very uncomfortable. This one is in recycled glass bottle which has a very nice feel in your hand. Uh, has very strange opener to be very frank like it drops out like a medicine so you don't get a proper amount on your palm to like wash your mouth off um you just get a few drops which you can like i don't know massage on your around your teeth area it doesn't contain any alcohol and has antibacterial features as well which is a great thing um yeah and honestly i've been using this quite a lot while in georgia and once loving it and using it why not show it to you so Another product that I have been absolutely loving is this Natural Brow Cream by Art Deco. I was always using the brow pencils and they were breaking. Um, I was always using the tip. It was difficult to fill in the brows without them looking like painted on my face. So it's first time that I got such a, like, I don't know, little jar where the product is in. And I have been using it together with a little brush and you guys where was i why no one told me about it it just gives you so much control on filling your brows in like depends how much you take the product but you can just fill it in it goes pretty close to my natural brow shade so i don't have to overdo it and i have very good control um over it so that's something that i've been absolutely loving and i really wanted to recommend to you as well it's super cheap like art deco is not a premium brand i always feel like that paying a lot of money for the brow pencils or brow gels is like a wasted money because you don't really see any kind of difference while while doing my brows i obviously need a mirror and that's something that i've been loving as well it's by um danish design company i think it's called new works and i have been loving this one so long it's a art piece in my opinion at home i love the shape of it it looks round and then you have a possibility to hold it in your hand and shape it the way you want or you also have a little pad underneath so you can put it on your vanity or in your bathroom and um, yeah it has the perfect angle so that i see my full face that's one beautiful beautiful homeware item which is also a, which was also a great great purchase uh, so yeah Another uh, lip care product <laughs> that I have over here is by Berlin based company Natur Cosmetic Berlin um, It's made in Germany obviously and uh, it's blueberry lip care bio shea butter it's fair organic and vegan for you to see the tube so you just press from this direction when the product gets gets ended and then you just can pop more product up so that you can use it it feels so great on your lips and softens it up and moisturizes it. I absolutely love it. 
and also it smells divine it smells like blueberries but better so if you get the possibility to get your hands and try something like this out definitely go for it so the next what i have over here are different kinds of face masks first one is the eye patches so if you feel dull and tired when you wake up um, before putting on the makeup if you have time this type of face mask this one is by Garnier um, provides such a cooling effect refreshing effect and wakes your face up instantly lifts it but also hydrates it so um, you can leave it on for 15 minutes um, even though the product says that it's just for one time using I believe that there is enough liquid within such little packages so you can put it inside and reuse it for the second or third time next day or the same evening um, I am totally obsessed with eye patches I have been using it over and over again and I feel like that it really definitely provides a hydration so can only recommend to everyone I have a few different masks over here this one is hydration plus purification so I try to always have some hydrating element in my face masks because my skin is anyway super dry I have scaly patches over here because of the perioral dermatitis that I'm suffering with um, so I don't want anything that can aggravate that area um, it uses the water technology it's by biotherm and uh, has also salicylic acid so providing a cleanse as well you have to leave this on on the face for 15 minutes um, and in the end you don't feel very strained and tensed on your face which is a good thing this is a beauty mask company um, and this is watermelon and aloe vera based um, obviously anything that contains aloe vera is a great thing for dry and irritable skin as well uh, you have to leave this one as well for 15 minutes it comes and uh, relaxes your face so uh, it's for a very sensitive but dry skin I have already used this one I feel like that the sheets of the mask are cut for bigger face because every time I apply it I look ridiculous I feel like that I cannot open my eyes or mouth my nostrils are covered it's really funny all the things that we do for beauty right the last item that I want to talk about is uh, the hairbrush <laughs> and I feel like that it's very understated uh, among the beauty community over here on YouTube I forgot my brush here at home and I really regret it and I understood the price of good hairbrush while being in Georgia my mom had very old one was having like this iron metal bit this one feels very very convenient it was not even so expensive it has this uh, wood handle which is very comfortable in the hand uh, it feels stable very I don't know hardy and also this uh, brush bits I don't know how they are called move along together with your hair don't really irritate your scalp so good hair care starts with good brush definitely invest in it I got mine in pharmacy it's by brand called Avida so you guys that's it for my video today it turned out a lot longer than I actually wanted it to be I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all these random pieces uh, that I've been loving I just wanted to show you new things um, and not the same ones that I often use um, so yeah, if you want to see other favorites of mine or the makeup and other products, basically <laughs> watch some other videos. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please don't forget to do that. I'm going to be glad to see you on board. I'm going to see you on my next one and I promise that I'm going to be more regular uh, from now on. <laughs>